Tomorrow, of course, will be a very difficult day for many Connecticut families. It marks seven years since the tragedy at Sandy Hook. Some of those who lost loved ones are finding ways to make something good out of something so bad. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Susan Raff joins us now right now uh, um, uh, with just more on this story. It's just so heartbreaking, Susan. It really is. It's a very tough day for a lot of people and many of these families. They tell us that there are good days and bad. And for some, all they really want to do is help others. Grief, in general, is unique to every single person. Jenny Hubbard will never stop grieving the loss of her daughter, Catherine, but she has found a special way to honor her child and bring happiness to others. She has created a sanctuary in Newtown for families to learn and appreciate animals. And we believe that in that space, when people come here um, and they feel that gentleness and that grace of, of that connection with wildlife and, and with the environment and with animals, that they're going to feel Catherine. Catherine, a spunky little redhead, loved animals. Nelba Marquez Green also shares this same pain. Her daughter, Anna Grace, was also killed at Sandy Hook Elementary. She has started something called Love Wins, a food and clothing drive. Friday at Central Connecticut State University, people from all over were dropping off all sorts of donations. Some of these parents have focused their energies on gun safety and mental health issues. Others are honoring their children with kindness. Jenny says, we have become a country in pain with so many mass shootings. It is a country that's, that's hurting. And so for me, when I see another tragedy, it's, it's not so much about activism or, or the political side of things. Um, my heart breaks for the families. Jenny tells us that sometimes that tragic day seems like a lifetime ago, but it also feels like yesterday. She also plans to be at that very special sanctuary tomorrow to honor her daughter. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Susan, thank you. And I know 